I'm going to do another short video here. Um, I'm going to do a more lengthy one here on the calcium to phosphorus ratio, which is a critical, critical component to understanding feeding your tortoises, whether they're redfoots, Russians, Hermans, or any type of tortoise. And that I'm going to feed my adult redfoots here a combination of three different fruits, one of which is one which is the only fruit I ever feed my Russians, ever. But uh, redfoots like it as well, and I've got it right here. It's what's called a cactus fruit, or a cactus pear. They're available this time, they're available usually in like December, January, and February in most parts of the country, and they're the actual fruit of the cactus plant, the Opuntia cactus plant. They've got kind of a hard exterior, you can wash them off, the Russians can eat this, I don't give this to the Redfoots, but inside is a very deep red uh, fruit. And so what I have right here, what I'm going to be feeding them here shortly, is a combination of, I've cut up one cactus fruit, also some cantaloupe, and half an apple. And I talked about calcium to phosphorus ratio. Apples are a one to one. One part calcium to one part phosphorus. Cactus by its nature is ten parts calcium to one part phosphorus in most instances. And the fruit has that same ratio. Cantaloupe is a little less. It's 0.6 parts calcium to one part phosphorus. So it's okay in a mix but not as a standalone. But I'm going to feed this to them here. And I'm going to stop the video. I'll put it in there and you can see how much they enjoy this. There, as you can see, they're thoroughly enjoying this. My female on the right, my male on the left. Wet them down a little bit so you can kind of see the colors a little bit better. But they will completely consume that entire plate full of cantaloupe, cactus fruit, and apple. Apple provides some good fiber in this piece. But there's something you can feed them. Just a complete fruit salad. But you want to pay attention to the calcium to phosphorus ratio. And I'll do a more extensive video on that with a list of all the foods that are good for redfoots and the kind of combinations you can put together so you never have to worry about them in the wrong mix. Mm -hmm.